find out if he was in town before coming. It's a long story and I don't want to bore you with it. Anyway, my name is Alia. And you? Oh well, mine's Ken. Pleasure meeting you. You're welcome. Oh, quite unfortunate that I have to go. I was hoping you would help me out of my predicament. Oh. Honestly, I'm not in the habit of picking up girls from the club, honestly. Sorry. Wait a minute. You don't think I'm a prostitute just because I walked up to you? I thought you're, you're decent, that's why I came to you. You think some guys have not made advances at me? And yes, I came to you. Sorry for disturbing you. Thanks for the drink. to make my position clear, very clear. Well, if you don't mind, I could take you to my house for, for the night. So what makes you think I'm not a prostitute? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm only moved more by compassion than any other reasoning. You know, when well, I've been my sister, you know. So, what do you think? It's getting late. Thank you.
this is my own room. You're welcome. Thanks. Um, do you stay here alone or you're sharing with others? Well, um, I'm sharing here with my friends. Actually, um, my friend's brother owns here and he particularly gave me this room. So I, I'm more like around this house since he traveled, you know, being the financial and whatever. Anyway, you're welcome. Okay? You really deserve a bigger place and all alone. Um, I hope you don't mind. I'd like to take my bags now. Okay, um, the door to the extreme of the corridor by the left. Just get in there and take a bath, okay? okay. If you want to just put your things there while I prepare uh, a meal for two. What for? At this time of the night? I am not hungry. Or are you? No, I'm not. I'm just only for you, if you don't mind. Oh, thank you. I'm not hungry. Okay, just, just go and use the bag you know. My nigga don't burn rubber. <laughs> no, I, won't, I won't crash, man. Don't, I don't burn rubber. Hey, go sleep, though. Who did disturb you? If you want to sleep, make you sleep. But you see me, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm not the sleep tonight at all. You did sleep before, no be all you be. Abba! We not see the kind babe we uh, can arrange tonight. We now be sweet, man. <laughs> May God help you. Amen. Oh, God forgive you. <laughs> Girl, sweet. We test them. The girl and a lollipop. Ah, you be not the part on our way to enter now. Me that girl go sweet you. I saw you talk. I saw you talk last week. That baby boy I carry come back here. You talk say the girl said. The girl sweet. He do this. He do that. Man. Yeah, what you call? When we enter room, forget all those things where you see all those in Italian parking. <laughs> Nothing did there. The girl breast flat. Like slippers, nothing. You <laughs> see, now you see her, now you touch her, now you feel her. Everything you just talk now, go just accept her. You don't like it now. <laughs> Come on, Peter. Uh -huh. What do you want to do this night? You you won't go beep Ken. Ah, God forbid. If Ken will go, then Ken will just shoot me. Well, you see, you don't know want to be the always surprise me. Say, how can they arrange this kind of babe? I mean, this baby is different too. Ah. You know, say Ken, uh, nice guy. Mm -hmm. Make this girl different too. Okay. So you go to help all these girls, you know, help their younger brother and sisters for school. <laughs> yeah. So their mom see at the end of the day, the girls will leave up. Check on that. This boy, go feel big head. Imagine how can go one entire room again. Go see on the knock again. Try go check, go check. Just check. This air no day mama alone. This breeze no be normal breeze. Eh, eh, you, you know say if it just be the wind, you know say rain never fall since. And rain fit just won't fall tonight. This boy, the money where they take train you for school, eh? The money at west. By this time of the year, now even the fall. What? You know the eh, I've been I've been talk say rain say we're not gonna sleep tonight. I've been at that one they affect us now. Be your prophecy, Prophet Peter. Anything where you profess and I saw you go to happen. I better come out with the shift from back and sleep. Chief, chief, back and sleep, my man.
Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm fine. I'm okay. And you? I'm fine. Well, um, I must thank you for washing my clothes, tidying my house. Man, I'm impressed. I must confess you, you're touching my sensitivity. I'm happy that you're impressed. I had to show my appreciation for your harboring me. Oh, come on. It's, it's nothing. Come on. Just... There is food in the kitchen. It may not be that delicious because of inadequate ingredients. I had to make do with what I could get. I woke up early enough. There's something about it not being tasty. Come on, you know it's not as tasty as it should be. <laughs> well, how, how tasty could it be? Oh God, this is, this is out of this world, baby. Mm. I'm glad you like it. Honestly, mm -hmm. just make more of this, okay? Club tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me chat the girl up a little. Uh, wait, uh, uh, I'm also interested. Interested in what? I said I only want to chat the girl up and not toast her. Uh, yes, no. Uh, I'm interested too. What, whatsoever, man. Let's go. Hi. Hello. Good day to you. Uh, good day, beauty. How are you? Well, as you can see, fine. <laughs> are you Ken's flatmate? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. I want to personally welcome you to our house. <laughs> uh, you see, I I'm also welcoming you very personally. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> good, good. Welcome. How was your day? That's good. You guys, why are you standing here with my woman? Uh -uh. I hope you're not trying to steal my woman. Ah, again. We can't do that now. Hey, hey, stop it. What's the possible to bad guys? Look at their smile like fried goat eggs. I just see you around. See you around. See you around. Hey, 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 You too.
I want to thank you once more for harboring me. Actually, I wanted to go back to where I came from, since my friend is no longer in this town. Oh, um, wait a minute. Um, how long did you originally intend to stay? As long as possible. But I intended changing location if any job worthwhile comes up. Um, Alia, I'm asking you to stay. As long as you want. But would I not be inconveniencing you? No, 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 you're not. You're not inconveniencing me. Okay, uh, let's just put it this way. With just one day in my house, you have shown me what it really takes to take care of me. No woman ever or has ever done it better. You wash my clothes, make my food, clean my house, make me laugh. Oh, come on, baby. Problem. It's no problem. It's okay. Come on, tell me. You look quite tired and hungry. Or should I get you something to eat? I'm not hungry. Do you have been sacked? Sacked? Why? How? When? I never had any problem with the management. They just came up with the decision that I'm sacked. I don't just just let's just so this. Go through this. One door closes, another one will definitely open. Maybe the reason you lost this job is for you to get a better one. You know, you can never tell. Sometimes disappointment could be a blessing. Hmm? It's really going to be difficult for me and my parents and my mother. But Listen. What am I going to do? What just, just what am I going to do? Most of the time, difficult times push one to success. Do you want my candid advice? Look at this newspaper. I saw an advert of a person manager in an oil company. Why don't you apply for it? Can never tell. It might turn out for the better. Uh, this advert is three months old now. Qualified, I mean, applicants would have applied long ago. I mean, what? Don't worry, apply for it. The job might be waiting for you. Hmm? I don't think so. Where is your fate? Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Write your application. I'll get you something to eat.
most Ken's girlfriend. What is she doing here by this time of the night? Damn, it's 1.30 a.m. I think there's something about that girl. You, you remember the wind thing now? Yes, now. The cry of the old. Yes. Then the knock, knock, knock on the door. And, and this time it's music and dance. Huh? Oh, wait, what is music? Stop, 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 stop. You are not the one putting the music on. It on itself. Uh, what? I'm not dreaming now. Could it be that I'm dreaming or something? <laughs> Look, I'm sure I'm not dreaming. You are the one. I'm not dreaming. I'm wide awake. You are the one. Let's move that door again. Okay? It's me. Open the door. Okay. Ah! Turn down that music. I mean, can't somebody sleep in this house again? This is not a club, you know. Where is that blue? Where is that blue? Peter, put up that music. How I go there for my own house? Wake up by 1.30. Your babe do hear the dance. For waiting. Waiting for what? Which girl are you talking about? Your girlfriend. Now I know you guys are up to something. My girl is sleeping in my room and you heard saying she, she came dancing here. Oh God, how can two adults be dreaming at the same time? Ah, me the dream. Watch your tongue go. Mind how you talk to me, oh. Ever since you brought that girl into this house, things has not been the same. See, so, oh, does it mean that if you're not sleeping, the women will be sleeping in this house? Have you told me you're not sleeping? Look, it's you guys that have been disturbing me. I'm going back to bed. You guys, stop playing loud music. It's late, okay? Ah. I'm going to sleep. See, oh, you don't want me? Come on, get out! I'll go I'll go pound this guy Molly's house with me. Yeah, I don't gas now. This guy won't be with this one. Eh? Now they get me a CEO. I see that girl, that girl a big witch. That girl I see here. Not that girl now. We have to take a decision. Can't have to leave this house. Can't go move. Abi? Yes, now what do you want? Can't go walk out. Man, this guy is not sleeping. What do you want to do? I don't sleep now. You won't sleep. You won't sleep. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Nobody sees you around, man. I hope there's a problem. No, it's not a problem. I accept you if you have any problem. Well, I'm going to pay the Nepal bills, and um, I found uh, I had to look for you to call her yours. God, you guys know I, I lost my job. I don't have a job now. You Sorry, know. I can't pay now. Well, you shouldn't ask. You don't have a job, and you're maintaining that babe. Anyway, John said I should inform you that his um, brother is coming in from the U.S. And uh, you know what that means? Look, his brother is coming from the U.S. He should be moving into a, a duplex, not a room. John has that question to answer. You have to leave this house next week unfailingly. What? Uh, well, you have that to settle with John. I'll see you later. Come, come. How did you guys come to that conclusion? Oh, God. What what have I done to these guys?
Why? I don't know. For, for no just cause. No good reason. For a house that's not their own, their brother's house. It, it, it's just pure jealousy. I practically take care of this house. So I, I don't know why. Why do you want to do this to me? Why? Honey, the problem is that you worry a lot. Sometimes I begin to think you're not man enough. Remember Bob Marley's song says, everything is going to be all right. And everything will be all right. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You just you don't understand. I do, darling. I understand. But what matters most to me is your happiness. But I'm not a happy man. Hmm? Happiness will come sooner than you think, okay? Come in. You come unannounced. Nothing, brother. I have been writing and phoning to tell that I was coming up to Lagos to follow up on my job. Uh -huh. Then did I tell you to come? I mean, you should have waited for me to invite you. Brother, you wasted a lot of time, and you know I have to check on those that promised me job. God, God, I, are you, I wasted a lot of time. Look, I tell you, have my phone number. You, you at least will have called me. And then let me tell you, yes, come over. How will you just wake up and come to my place without telling me? Oh, 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 brother. Is it because of this guy that don't want me to stay in your house? Ada, listen very well. You're my sister. And I don't have any reason not to accommodate you. But right now, there are three situations in my life. As I talk to you, I don't have a job. There's no money anywhere in this house to take care of the both of us. Talk less of you. Right now, my friends have asked me out of this house. It's all right, brother. Don't worry. We will manage. Oh, she will manage. Money. Money. Let her stay since she's already here. We'll all manage. Hmm? Anyway, um, <laughs> Alia, you already know she needs no introduction. She's my sister from the village, Ada. Ada, this is my fiancée, Alia. You're welcome. Brother, can Ada, Ada, come back here. Ada, say, come back here. God. You, you see? You see why this girl should not stay with us? So, don't worry, eh? I'll, I'll take you to Chakaruta Canal. We eat some pink cookies in plastic bags and wash it down with some cold milk. <laughs> But I'll tell your brother. I won't tell him. No what? You'll go, eh? Yeah? Hey, Kenny. You! The next time I see you standing there like that, God knows I'll break down your head for you. You are, I know all your antics. But let me warn you, leave my sister alone. John. The next time I see you with that girl, God knows, I will fight you. Ken, you're warning me? You're warning me, Ken? You're here banging someone else's sister and you don't want anybody to touch your sister? Look at you. Burn me. Peter, he's your friend. Warn him. Do you know what I'm capable of doing? Do you know? 
What makes you think I have not even kissed that her stinky, ragged, smelly mouth? I go throw you here now. Cross? What do you say? I'm giving you just one week. You will pack out of this house. Okay, fine. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, you, here you are. I'm warning you. So, this is what you came to do, Lagos, right? The next time I see you with those boys again, I swear to God, I'll kill you. And I'll send your dead body back to the village. Stupid girl. Try me. So you went and told Ken that I was standing with Dabo. Excuse me. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't pretend. I know all about you. You are not better. Do you think that I have not heard how Ken, my brother, picked you up from the club? Well, Ken is my brother and there is no how I will leave this house for you. It is not possible. Where's the letter from? I, I don't know. Nigeria. And it is my employment letter. Hey! God has done it! Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> God has done it! God has really done it. Hey. <sighs> he has given us victory. We
you dey go again. Oh, can't I want to beg? Take me to the place now. See the address now. I take the time to say you want. I know they go anywhere. You know they go again. That looks like a bare ground. How? I am looking for this place. You're almost there. That is the house. Uh -huh. Front of the house, there you see a man standing there. Actually, he would direct him more better. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. God will give you a very good husband that looks like my son. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody here? Who is here? Oh? Uh, even if it is heaven, they will not put this type of gate. Madam? Yes? Now who you define? I am looking for my son, Kenneth Okoye. He works with an oil company. Kenneth Okoye? Mm. Oil company. Uh, my wife will be here. They work for Shell property. Uh, maybe the Kenneth where you define. They live for any of those houses where they're there. If you go there, find out. Oh. Where you get going? No, no close them now. Oh, oh, okay. What is the surname of your guy? See your name. Madam, I say my Oga. They work for Shell Company. Go find Kenneth for any of those houses where they're there. Ah. Oh. What's happening here? What's the argument all about? Madam, uh, now nah, this woman, uh, you say you define Kenneth, uh, where they work for oil company. But I don't want to say my other, they work for Shell company. No, sir. Don't you know Shell Petroleum is an oil company? Uh, sorry, madam. Mm. Sorry, Mao. Mm. Good afternoon. Good no, afternoon. No. Please, who are you looking for? Um, 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 I'm looking for my son, Kenneth Okoye. He works with an oil company. See the address. You must be Ken's mother. Yes. The oh, one. welcome, Mama. Thank you. Come inside. Thank you. He's around. Get this bag inside. Welcome, Mama. How's everybody? So, you mean is the two of you that lives in this big house? Yes, Mama. Uh, is the house too big for two people? Uh, who are you? My name is Alia. I'm Ken's friend. Uh, Let's go inside, <coughs> Mama. You're welcome. Thank you. <coughs> See everywhere shining. Hmm, this is heaven on earth. Bia, 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 bia. This place is still good. Oh, it's the air conditioner. I'm going to turn it off. Hey, you know we don't have this type of uh, thing in the village. <laughs> Sit down, Mama. Can I get you something to drink? Okay. All right.
Mm -hmm. Can I pour more for you? No, no, I will do it myself. Delta State. I hope it's not too far from your place. Mm, mm, mm. It's not. A guest place may be far or near, depending on her behavior to a man. Eh? All right, Mama. Can I prepare something for you to eat? Ah, no, 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 no. All I need now is sleep. I am tired. You know, I'm from a long journey. Hmm? I will eat in the night. It's okay, Mama. doing here? Why are you not in the office? Actually, I'm waiting for my mechanic. I can imagine I've been waiting for him to bring my car. So I'm hanging out. What's up? That reminds me. There was something you said you wanted to discuss with me. Hey, Pauline. How, how could you be dating the general manager? I mean, that's unethical, you know? What business of yours is it? Let me tell you. You weren't looking my way. So what else do you want me to do? But, but you know I have a fierce. How can I look your way when I have somebody I'm dating? Fiancing my foot. So it's because of that girl you took from the club. That's the reason why you turned a blind eye to a pretty and decent girl like me, huh? So, what, what makes you feel you're decent? You, you're not ashamed. You're dating the manager in your office where you work. And, and you're so proud to say it with your big lips. Look, that girl you call a club girl, she's more decent to me, more responsible, more virtuous to me than you think you are. Hold it there, okay? No matter whatever I do, I'm still better off than a club girl, okay? Mm, that's your opinion. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but my opinion is that you are not virtuous. Very soon, everybody will start sleeping with you in the office. Except me. Whatever. Except me. Go roast in hell, okay? Mm. In fact, you can go roast in hell mm. together with that witch. Mm. Your girlfriend. Mm. You call your girlfriend, okay? Mm. I'm sure it's that king's girl that is looking after him. That prostitute. Chinyaliki, which one is a prostitute? <coughs> so you don't can pick her up from the hotel. Oh, Ada, 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 how many times did I call you? My prayer is that God will give you your own husband one day so that you leave Ken alone to live his life. Mama, I know you won't believe me. No, Ada, I'm not doubting you. But I'm here now. I will see for myself. But the little, I mean, the little one I have seen, she is federal. <laughs> a nice girl. Mama, eh? Time will tell whether she's federal or stay. Hmm. Mama, let me remove my clothes. I'm coming back. Home. I know I brought something for me. Yes, something for me. Adia Bekera, you be cool. Help this girl.
sleep when I've not seen you. You are looking very good. Thank you. That girl must be taking good care of you. Oh, she is, ma'am. She is. Well, you're not looking bad, too. Hmm. How is everybody in the village? Everybody is all right. How is work? Well, thank God. Manager. Cletus told me about your new status. It shows on you. But he didn't tell me that you have a very good girl living with you. Uh, and very pretty too. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> what? How? 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 You don't know her well. How did you know she's a good girl? Oh. You remember I used to fight my girlfriends in those days? <laughs> yes. That was because they were after your money. But this one is beautiful. God must have wasted a lot of time molding her. And she's she's also working with the Central Bank of Nigeria. What? Oh, very soon you people will be printing money in, in, in your house. <laughs> so what? Uh, did she tell you she works with Central Bank? Oh, 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 oh. You don't want me to know? <laughs> you people will be giving me new notes. Must be giving me new notes. What is the problem? No, nothing, Mama. I'm just, I'm just reminiscing my, my, my work, my office, and some things. Nothing. Mm. Since you now work with an oil company, when I'm going back to the village, you will give me some petrol to sell at work. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, mm? things don't happen all that way. Mm. Okay? Anyway, hence you want to do, do something up. Let me see what I would do before you leave, okay? I'll see what I can do. Um, I have an I have a very important thing to discuss with you. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I need to eat something. Can't it wait or something? It can't wait. It is very important. How important? So when are we going to her place to see her people? You want me to marry her? Capital, yes. Mom, what, what has come over you? Something like you. You don't know how to work and you are giving your approval for marriage. Just like that. <laughs> Look, oil man. With the little I have seen, I am convinced she is good for you. Remember, I am a mother. So she is good for you. Since I came in here, she has been taking good care of me. My heart, I mean my mind, has been doing me Paulina, Paulina, Paulina. <laughs> so, I Paulina mean, for you. yes, why don't you marry her? Okay, okay, mama. See, Ken, Ma. if someone else marries her, I will disown you. Ma 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 I mean, I don't have to swear over this now. Okay, I'll propose to her later, okay? What did you just say? What did you say? Him. Okay. Why don't you take after your father? Go ahead and marry her. Propose to her. Or do you want me to come with you? <gasps> Mama, how will you come with me? Oh, okay, um, don't worry. Uh, let me just go in. Let me eat something. Sleep. No, 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 no. Eat and propose to her. Usual. I mean, her mama said you've been taking good care of her. And she's very happy. Hmm? Thanks a bunch. Why thank me? That's what I'm supposed to do. 
But she's also my mother too. Hey, is that why you lied to her that you, you work with the Central Bank of Nigeria? That's what she wants to hear. And she was already accusing me of uh, sitting down at home and eating your money while you work. I had to defend myself. Yeah, defend yourself by lying. I mean, what, what if she finds out? Calm down. Ah, oh, you worry a lot. She won't find out. I'm not to take a look at that. So, what else does she say? I think she must have said something else. <laughs> nothing, nothing more than that she'll be leaving tomorrow and next, you know. She has a meeting to attend to in the village. Bear ceremony more like it. You know, this is their policy of attending every other occasion, wedding, burials and all that. So she has to go. So she's leaving soon. So she is. What else? I know you're hiding something. Remember I'm a woman and I know what happens when a mother and her son discuss behind closed doors. All right, all right, okay. You, you want to really hear this? Yes. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I'd rather go to bed. Let me just rest and talk about it tomorrow. I Please insist, me. darling. Honey, you know you mean the world to me. And believe me, you're so irreplaceable. I mean, the fact that we've been, we've gone through so many things, you know, we've been through the bad, good and the ugly so believe me you're the one that puts me to believe that nothing in life is permanent a change is the only constant thing in nature that change has come and it's for the better for me i still believe the best is yet to come i believe the best will come the day i will match you or walk it down the aisles I hope we'll say, I do. Serious, I know you're kidding me. It's not that I'm rejecting you. It's just that I'm not ready for marriage now. And I don't want to make promises I cannot keep. Let's just keep going for now until the time is right. Please do understand that I love you more than you think. And who put me under pressure? I don't know how to manage pressures. Please, let's just leave things the way they are. Honey, don't rush into what you cannot finish. And what? That you claim you love me and yet you can't marry me? So why can't I finish anything I... I mean, what is it that I can't finish? Alia, if you love me, we'd better fix this wedding and get it started immediately. Honey, calm down. I will marry you, but, but not now. Let's just give it some time, okay? It's like, how many months are you talking about here? Seven, six months time. I'm not serious. I'm beginning to suspect that you have somebody else in your life. No. God, excuse me.
because of what I said last night. Please forgive me. I love you. I don't want to hurt you. If you love me, why don't you want to marry me? I didn't say I will not marry you. I just said, let's give it time. You know, I've been hurt in the past. And I don't want the same thing to happen again. Same with you. And that's the reason I stay with you always. So that you will not have to bother. Or don't you trust me anymore? Oh, no, of course I trust you. Just that your promise of marrying me will keep my mind at rest. Daddy, you know if I have to marry any man, it has to be you, of course. Because we have come a long way together. And you've been so nice to me. Something no one has ever done for me before. Please come inside. Mama is already at the dining, and you know she's going back tomorrow morning. Come on, love. Grace, Mama. Thank you. Have a safe journey. Don't forget, greet everybody. I'll greet everybody. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, Mama. Bye, Mama. Sweetie, I'm coming. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. I think my hair is looking funny. But that's not too much of a problem. Tomorrow is weekend Sunday. You can walk over to any salon and fix it. Oh, that's true. You, but have you noticed I don't really like leaving the house? I'm wondering why, you know? Mm -hmm. Honey, what's the problem? My, my hearing fell. Your earring? Yes. Uh, have you found it? That's your earring on, and... I... I thought I felt something drop. So, honey, what's going on? Honey, you ask too many questions at a time. Let's go. What's going on and you say, let's go, I mean...
now are you going to tell me what all this is about? I mean, just look at my hands. They are still dirty because I was searching for an earring that you're still wearing. Honey, tell me what's happening. I mean, look, you, you, you were looking quite scared out there. What's the problem? Sweetheart, I'm all right, eh? You stop worrying. I'm okay. No, you're not okay! Who is it that you were hiding from that made you dive to the ground like a, a mysterious kid? Who tell me? Hi, pretty one. Are you going my way? I'm going to Ajibu now. Will you drop me off? Alright, that's my way, baby. Yeah. Well, Alia, she, she was... She was an angel. And since I lost her, I've not been able to find any other woman to satisfy me the way that she, she did. And, and I, I'm still single. Alia, it's not what you think, okay? It's, um, she's, um... What? She's, she's, she's our neighbor. We were just...